Okay, I uh, didn't feel like doing my hair or anything, so I put on... I finally found my hat. My mom made this for Christmas two years ago, and then I put it in a bucket when I was trying to move, and uh, never found it again. So uh, I put it on because my hair's a hot mess. <laughs> um, but this video is on magnolia seed pods. I figured uh start doing these videos again where I talk about different herbs and whatnot that are going to be in my stores and everything. This video is going to be for uh, the Wands Mendel and Mina's Apothecary because I'm going to be selling them both. But I used to, well, a couple of weeks ago, I had collected some magnolia seed pods at my sister's school. I gave a little thing back, kind of a, like when I collect something from outside, you tend to give something back to it. Like when I uh, harvest herbs or something in my backyard or whatever, I'll give a, depending on what it is, sometimes a little bit of whatever I'm drinking, or depending on the time of year, like some milk, or a little cake, or something, you know? Or uh, sometimes people give money, let's put pennies down or something. Just giving something, even just asking, can I please have this and saying thank you, and whatnot. Um, good to give offerings when you're collecting things. But I, I don't know where I put the magnolia seed pods. I had them on my Etsy site for the one spindle, and then somebody bought one and they disappeared. I feel like that happens a lot in my house, even though my room is clean and everything is organized. Like I have all my stuff right next to me or in tubs, special tubs for my stuff. Uh, I feel like fairies like to take my things and hide them or something. But um, this is what the magnolia seed pod looks like. These ones are kind of tiny. My friend actually collected from these for me. She saw that I put something about them online and then collected a bunch and just brought them to my house randomly. Just like showed up and was like, here you go, take these. And I'm like, oh, cool. Um, so since I didn't collect them myself, I'm going to give some offerings on my altar for them instead and keep this underneath my altar for a little bit before I uh, sell them. But um, let's see what I had here. I have to write it down now because I'm too tired to remember what things are all for now and I don't want to forget anything. Um, but on my Wall and Spindle page I wrote that Magnolia, Magnolia can be used uh, magically for fidelity spells, strengthening marriages and relationships, bringing love, and is also associated with purity. Some say it is also a good talisman of sorts to bring general peace and happiness to the home. So I sell them plain because I want you to be able to craft with them yourself and do things with yourself. Like, I don't want to completely just make something with these. I mean, I'll do it with some things, like I'm making a little mojo bag or something. But for some reason with these, I love how just natural they are. Well, obviously they're from nature. But um, a lot of people on Etsy and whatnot will wrap them with string and other things, which is really cool. I mean, but uh, I don't know. I just feel like I want to sell them as is. I want people to be able to craft with them themselves. Because I don't, I feel like everybody, I feel like people just buy made products and then they just want to just hang it up there and then they don't add anything to it. So this way, if you're going to buy this or something, I'm kind of like almost trying to force you to work with it yourself. <laughs> I don't like that people just buy, I mean, pre-made things all the time for everything. I mean, I also pre-made things like my oils and stuff, but people are using them in their other craftings. And um, I'm noticing I shouldn't have worn these because I have fingerprints on them. But anyway, I'm going on a rambling tangent. So I sold uh, other Magnolia wood stuff in my store, mostly from my friend Leslie that sent things to me, uh, like little slivers and whatnot of Magnolia that I've turned into like rune pendants and stuff. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the Magnolia seed pods. Um, they'll be on the both the sites soon. I'm considering taking new pictures since these ones are a little bit smaller than the other ones I had. The other ones I had were like beasts. <laughs> They're like four to five inches long. These ones are what, three inches maybe. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching.